friends. Today is probably the most exciting day ever because I'm gonna just be knitting all day. Okay, that was like the lamest thing I could have said, but anyways, you clicked on this video, so we share something in common and you guys are interested in knitting too. So, as I said, I just clapped so many times, but I am gonna be attempting to knit a sweater today. Hopefully I don't cry because I only knitted one thing so far. It didn't turn out super great. Like it's matte, it's wearable, but I don't, I don't really like it. I got frustrated so many times knitting it. I'll show you, okay? Tell me why this looks like a tote bag. It's a tank top. I literally don't know how to like make shapes. So I just made a big square and then like, turned it into a tank top somehow. Let me show you the inspiration for today. If I could find my phone, I actually don't know where she went. Okay, so my inspiration was just this girl on TikTok wearing a sweater and I thought it was really cute. And I was like, maybe, just maybe, I'll be able to recreate that. Her screenshot code. Did I delete it? I better not, oh, here we go, okay. I just like the color combination. One of my biggest faults is I really, really love oversized things, obviously, but it just makes it 10 times harder for me to make stuff. But anyways, no big deal. Another one of my biggest faults is that I like to hop straight into things. I like to win. Ow. I try to wing things. I don't like this lower lighting. It makes me look like I'm telling a spooky story. I like to wing things, especially my arts and my crafts and whatever and my baking. So actually, maybe it's a common, like I like to do that with everything. You know, that's a good thing or okay thing sometimes. Sometimes it works out for me. A lot of times it doesn't work out for me. I think with knitting, by example, this. Like this was good practice, but I want to put this a little more thought out because I think it's gonna take a lot of time. I want it to actually be wearable. So I am thinking Melanie's awesome sweater. Yes, off to a good start. Ooh, I should use the color combo I'm going for too. Also, if you don't wanna see all my thought and prep that goes into this, you can go ahead and skip to the actual knitting, but this will be fun, okay? I'm just gonna sketch out my plan for this. Okay, so let's take a look at this again. So it's pretty simple. I think I'm gonna like dumb this down a lot because I am basically a beginner with knitting and I wanna make it as simple as possible for myself. So I think I'm gonna do the thing where I like turn this into a bunch of squares and hope that it works out. So I was thinking this might be like ribbed, right? That's the collar. This is this, this, patterning. Why is my pen not working? Procreate. But then the whole thing is gonna be like different width stripe and then the sleeves are gonna go striped like this way geez if i had procreate when i was in elementary school it would have been over you're getting the idea right i don't know it doesn't look as cute here now we're gonna go over to a template oh my gosh i love drawing this out this is fun template yay this is just gonna basically be two like wide boxes and then these sleeves are gonna be like one box that i can like wrap around so like, mm -hmm. if it was one wide thing wrap it and then sew the end together this is what we got <laughs> so far i need to stop talking i lost the lid to my pencil found it i need to stop talking and start knitting because i know this is going to take me forever yarn haul i got these wooden knitting needles i also have these skinny ones that i actually hate because they would puncture holes through all my tote bags and they just feel like wrong they feel dangerous and then these are the four things of are they called spools i don't even know here's the four things of yarn i have i also have a crochet hook in case i need it this is probably not enough to make a sweater because when i crocheted a sweater i think i literally used 10 balls of yarn my mini nail scissors is that i bring with me to cut my yarn very therapeutic i'm just gonna start guys i'm just gonna start i'm gonna take this color because my heart feels like it and i'm gonna start casting on <laughs> that's right guys i know knitting terminology be impressed i really hope this goes well i'm nervous the other thing though is like i have no clue how to measure like how do i know what this translates to like how long it's gonna be i'm gonna try to google that let's pray that this is right because this is the basis for my entire sweater but i'm basing it off of this image it says for i think i'm gonna make this a large it says wait but that's for number eight needles i have no clue what number these are they don't oh wait do they have numbers oh this is 10 whatever same thing right it's probably not the same thing actual knitters watching this are probably like cringing at me but 77 i just haven't been counting but we're gonna try anyway so i'm gonna do 77 cast ons one two three four five Oh, one two three four okay i'm gonna explain what casting on is but as i say in like everything i'm actually terrible at explaining stuff basically i take it around my finger twist it and then put it through like that like, doesn't that look cool? But also, I'm not showing you all. Here, let me show you in a better view, okay? Keep running, 
hearts keep breaking. 14, 13, 3, 2, Okay, so this is 77. Sure don't look like it, but I'm just gonna hope and pray that I know how to actually count And then I'm just gonna start doing like a normal knit and then like eventually as you guys saw it's just like a stripe pattern So I'm eventually going to have to learn how to switch colors Which is something I just think I will be tackling later because I actually have no clue how to do that. But anyways <laughs> I'm a little rusty guys. I haven't done this in a while. I am titling this beginner knitter because I did knit that like other thing So I understand the very basic concept of it, but um, I've never really knitted anything I don't know how to read a pattern. I'm doing this like from scratch This is rather ambitious for me if I did start from knowing nothing This video would actually be like four hours long and you'd probably see me have a mental breakdown at least like three times So hopefully you only see me have one like once kind of loose I don't know about this. I'm just waiting for the part when like I'm far enough in that I can see my pattern coming together and I'm not super confused like I am right now and like hoping and praying that things work out because like right now it's a little wonky. It's just She's looking weird already. I don't know if we're off to a great start. I also did want to mention that I watched a couple of videos on how to like actually knit a sweater. They just had tools that I just don't have like those little loop knitting needles and like I'm waiting to invest in those until I actually understand knitting and make sure that I want to like keep doing it. Otherwise, you know, crocheting kind of seems like the way to go right now because this is kind of hard. I might invest in that later. Who knows? But I also just like didn't have the time <laughs> to go buy those. So I was like, I'll just figure out how to do it with what I I have which might be like a big regret later in this video but I also like my mind doesn't understand how those loop ones work okay little update guys I don't know why the lighting's like this also but I went through a couple of like I don't even know what they're called really like loose I understand these are a lot thicker than these so it makes sense for it to be loose I think I just have to wait for it all to come together to accept that but I think it'll look fine because honestly the sweater that I crocheted it was so heavy even packing it and bringing it to school it was like a little too chunky, okay? So I think this might be fine. And I am gonna try changing colors. I watched a little quick video on how to do it. Maybe I'm being a little too ambitious with this, but yeah, whatever. That's how we do it. So I'm gonna go into this little like darker shade of blue. I actually don't really like this shade of blue, but I don't know. Apparently Melanie who was ordering yarn did. So, so from my understanding, you just make a loop, pull it through. How does this usually work? So you usually do like this. Do I know how to do this? You just push it through. Instead of using the old shade of blue, I start using the new one, right? I go like this, bring it through. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys. Good morning. It's a new day. It's a crocheting day. To show you my progress, this is what we've got so far. Process so far has been pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I just don't know how long I'm gonna be doing this for. You definitely need to buy more yarn. Hopefully not too much because I was thinking by the end of this, I'm gonna like paying full price for a sweater. Yarn is kind of expensive. I low-key don't like the color combo that I chose because I realized like in the photo, her knit is like really tight. Like she probably used, well, I don't think she made it but it was probably like a four millimeter whatever needle i'm too lazy to do that so i can't really make the stripes really skinny it's not something i was like aiming for but hopefully it still looks cute i'm gonna see how long i can consecutively knit for today because honestly my attention span with things even crocheting and knitting has not been great like i can't really sit through i really can't binge watch shows and knit which is weird i usually like talk to people when i crochet or knit like i bring it to a social gathering because it's like killing okay I was gonna say killing two birds with one stone, which is not the right phrase for this, but it is getting like two things done at once, you know? Like I'm talking to people, socializing, and then I'm getting like a cool bag or a sweater out of it. About things that are out of my control, but I pretend they're Also, not just to explain, I'm doing a very typical knit stitch. So I'm knitting one way and then flipping it and purling on the other side in order to get the very, I don't know, the names of anything sorry guys so this is the front and then once we finish this off we're going to flip her around so then we're looking at the back and we're gonna purl which basically you like flip this downwards and then it's kind of like doing it upside down but i pretend they're not and then wonder why the outcome's not what i planned for 
Hey friends, I am here to show you the progress of my sweater. We have one, this is gonna be the front. Apparently she's gonna be a little see-through, which I guess is fine. I'm just gonna make another one of these. That's gonna be like the, it's real stretchy. I don't know about that. I think I should've used smaller stick thing, but it's a little bit too late for that. So it's just gonna be kind of like a shawl, I guess, apparently. So I have to make another one of these. This took me like kind of a long time. So we'll see how that goes. And then I have to make the sleeves. I also don't know how I feel about this pattern, like the color combo. And it looks better in my head i'm not gonna lie <laughs> or like it looked better with the like tighter knit and the thinner lines but it's too late for that so we're just gonna finish it and then if i don't like it i don't like it which might not be the best mindset but that's what we're going with hey friends so it's been such a long time with no update on my knitting project but right now i'm ending off my second block which is gonna be like the front and the back of the sweater i really can't do this while i'm talking ending it off is like high key confusing too. I'm gonna have to figure out the measurement I want to make for the sleeves and then once I make the two sleeves It'll be sewing it together time, which is gonna be just about the most exciting thing Also, I know I'm getting a bit ahead of myself, but I'm already thinking what am I gonna knit next? I was thinking like a blanket But of course we're keeping it up with the squares thing so that we don't have to learn how to do patterns Because that sounds kind of complicated on the other hand if I do want to take up the whole patterns thing I was thinking learning how to knit saw would be so fun Oh, cause lady, I tend to win so Ta-da! front and our back. There's just like a lot of stuff. Like I really knit a lot. We're gonna get started on the sleeves. So we're gonna do the same thing. My sleeve's not gonna be this big, but my plan is to make a big panel like this. And then I'm just gonna sew it across. And I'm probably gonna want it to be like half of this. So what's that? about 38 it'd be like if my sleeve like that and then i sewed it and that like that seems about right and then also like how long i want it to be honestly not that long because this is already super wide unintentionally i really did not mean it to be that wide but that was an accident so it'd be boxy i think we're gonna do i'm gonna cast on oh my gosh my, my brain is everywhere which is actually really embarrassing because i did absolutely nothing today well i did stuff i just went shopping though i didn't do anything like okay well shopping's productive kind of but um we're gonna cast on what did i say 38 three four which like this does not look like 38 Then i'm gonna start knitting same thing and by the way i didn't mention this but my stripes have no rhyme or rhythm to it i kind of just did whatever my heart desired so they definitely don't match up but i kind of wanted it to be that way guys please don't make fun of the way i knit like i know this is probably wrong but it's worked for me so far i am almost done with the four like main boxes i'm on the last sleeve which is really exciting and then all we're gonna have to do is sew it together and then like sew it together and then add like the collar and like the cuffs for the the sweater and then like the bottom part which i'm actually gonna be crocheting because i actually have no clue how to do that if you're knitting it almost done with the sleeve we have this one done i'm kind of just like measuring it like that which i know is probably not the most accurate way to do it but like that's what we're working with minor setback i don't have sewing needles so i'm gonna have to use my crochet hook or like my fingers or figure out some way to attach these bad boys together and that i'm excited to get onto the sewing i feel like i've been knitting for ages we have all the pieces so this is two separate pieces i was thinking of like sewing it here and then like up here and then these sleeves i'm just gonna like fold and then sew along the seams here attach it here which i you know once again don't really know how to do but i'm gonna have to figure it out i'm so excited to start seeing it like actually come together instead of just being a bunch of boxes we got our sleeve what i did for this is i just turned it inside out and then i did a single stitch crochet across this top and then when i turn it back right side out we got a perfect looking little sleeve i know these look so short but the top part is really boxy so it should be okay so i have both my sleeves they're looking a little lumpy but that's okay that's just how they turned out one also just might be a little bit longer than the other they kind of look like leg warmers right now but that's okay now i'm gonna work on the body a little bit and what i'm thinking for this one i'm just gonna do the top and like leave a hole for the neck i'm just gonna like line this guy up over here crochet it on somehow don't know if that made sense but that's the plan Hey 
you guys so i showed you guys this last night but this is in better lighting now this is kind of what it's looking like let's actually try it on she's coming together not bad at all but i want to add some like puffing to it basically i want to add like the ribbing here and on the sleeves and the collar thinking that the collars will be the same or wait not the, the the sleeve cuffs will be the same color and then the collar and the bottom will be the same color i'm just not sure what color that will be yet but i actually think it's looking really cute and as i was saying i don't really know how to knit that so i'm actually gonna crochet it i'm just gonna make like a generic very long cuff and then i'm gonna sew it onto this I am honestly not a huge fan of this blue. That's why this blue is not on this sweater that much. I got this brown a little too late. I just don't know if it'll be too much of a pop, but I actually think that might be cute for like... And then I have this blue also. I actually think I'm gonna go with this brown for all of the cuffings. And it's really, really easy. All you do is single stitch crochet back and forth as long as you want it to be for the width. Too much on my face. Hey guys, it's a new day. We're on to the final touches. I made these and I'm just going to attach them to the sleeves here. This is going to be the collar that I'm going to attach there. Let's start with one of the little wrist cuffs. They're basically like the same on either side, so I don't think it really... Right? It's the same? I'm going to attach this here, so I'm going to start by turning my sweater inside out again. I'm basically going to try to like put the insides of it together and crochet it like that. So I'm just lining up the side. I'm just gonna start slip stitching all the way around. And I will have to stretch this out because this is a bit smaller than the actual thing is. I'm pretty sure this is like not how you're supposed to actually do it, by the way, but. I've never been the one to spend hours together. I love my friends. Hey friends, so we're having a kind of surreal moment right now. You can't tell because it just looks like a huge ball of nothingness, but we are finishing up the very last stitches of my first knit sweater, which is a huge moment. I'm really confused right now. I'm just attaching the, I keep wanting to call it like a rim. It's just not a rim. The ribbing, and this is the longest, biggest portion, which is just like the bottom lining. You can definitely tell though, <laughs> now that I'm coming to a close where I stopped trying, which is real nice. They're my handy dandy nail scissors that are actually the best things ever. Okay, guys, we're gonna turn it inside out. I'm so excited. Part of me is like excited to try this on and the other part of me is nervous that I like mess something up without knowing it and then like once I turn it inside out, I'll realize it's ugly. Or I'll try it on and I'll be like, what the heck? Here's what it's looking like. That looks promising, right? Okay guys, here it is. Can you see that though? This is the finished sweater. As you can see down here, it's a little wonky. It's like sometimes it's ruched. I just like did not space it out well. But other than that, Okay, well, guys, that took kind of a while to knit my very first sweater. Not really having a pattern, it took me maybe like a little under a month on and off. Like definitely worked on it more some days than others. But thank you guys so much for coming along with me and keeping me company. If you want to see more knitting, crocheting, arts, crafts, anything project, just stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. I know you won't believe, so come on, baby, be with me so happily. No tripod ever.